Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to my bathroom. Today, I'm going to be cutting my own hair. I have been cutting my own hair now for years now, and I don't see why I would go to get another haircut. Right, to get a good haircut. That would be a good reason to go see someone. Well, until that day comes, I'm gonna to continue to cut my own hair, and I thought I'd show you how I do it for a couple of reasons. Number one being not necessarily a tutorial video, but more about just owning your own self and your own body and your own stinking hair. I remember distinctly going to Supercuts when I was probably about 10. My mom took me and I had long hair and they trimmed off two inches of my hair because it was dead and gross. And I remember being devastated about it. Suddenly I had short hair, oh my gosh. And suddenly I was no longer beautiful or pretty. And that, I think, stuck with me for quite a while. Like, the idea of having long hair equals beautiful or pretty. And maybe it does for a lot of people. But then I came to this realization that long hair doesn't really suit my personality as much as I think short hair does. A lot of people have commented, I mean, you should grow out your hair. You would be more beautiful or you would be more pretty. And at this stage of my life, I'm not really interested in that. I just want to be myself. So that's a big part of why I want to share this video with you. It's your hair. You can do whatever you want with it. And you know what? We're blessed because it will grow back. And if you really mess it up, you just go to that salon and they'll fix it for you, you know? And if they can't fix it for you, it will grow back. And then they'll fix it for you when you've got more to work with. But it's so liberating to be able to take control of your own stinking head and say like, listen, I want this hairstyle or I don't want this hairstyle. I'm going to chop it all off whatever it's yours make it yours and that's exactly how this hairstyle of mine has developed through the years a lot of people think i watch anime or am obsessed with manga and i'm not i've never read a manga before i don't watch anime i've watched a couple of studio ghiblis but who has it <laughs> so this hairstyle is just developed based on what i like and what i've figured out about my hair and that's another thing to think about i remember going into salons and bringing pictures and like i want that picture not really thinking that that texture of hair isn't the texture of my hair. My hair is very, very straight and each strand is pretty coarse. Now, I didn't realize that until I remember sitting in the car, I was about eight years old, and my best friend, who was my neighbor, we were playing and twirling with our hair. And I remember her, you know, touching the ends of her hair and it being really soft. And I did the same. It's almost like a horse hair. It's very, very stiff because that's the nature of my hair. Each strand is very thick and coarse and straight. Now, that is not something I despise or dislike. That's just the nature of my hair and I'm grateful for it. So that's something to think about when you choose a hairstyle and you're looking at the photo and you're like, wait a minute. Does that hairstyle involve body wave or some kind of curl? Because mine doesn't, right? So I'll have to do something, maybe get a perm <laughs> or curl my hair to make it look like that. It's not gonna just naturally look that way. Another thing to think about, there's probably product involved. So if you don't want a hairstyle with a lot of product, think about that. Like my hair, for example, I use wax to kind of spike it out a little bit. And if you're not interested in using product, then maybe that's not the hairstyle for you. Mostly, I want to share this video with you to empower you and to claim victory over your own hair and self, right? If you mess up your hair, it is not the end of the world. It's encouraging and it feels powerful. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So this is my hair and it's washed and clean state. I actually shower at night, so this is the next day. It lays pretty flat. Um, and I sometimes wear it like this, but usually I give it a little bit of a flip and a little bit of a, you know, twist or curl. So mostly what I'm going to be doing here is just reshaping things. I'm going to be trimming these bangs because as you can see, they're quite long. Get them out of my eyes a little bit more, but I do keep them pretty long because I have a very big forehead. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So just as a disclaimer, this is not a full on tutorial. I have no hair cutting experience in terms of training. I just have done this based on what I figured out for my own hair and for my family's. I cut my husband's hair and I cut my boy's hair too. It's just based on what I've figured out intuitively through the years. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So having said that I'm not a professional, one of my best purchases that I've bought for this hair cutting thing is this thing. And this is a little smock just that you would find at your hair salon. I bought this thing at the Sally's, I think it was like $10. 
excellent purchase. Love this, it makes cleanup so much better. It avoids getting a lot of the hair going down your shirt. Okay, a little confessional. When I do actually cut my hair, I cut it before I take a shower, so I don't wear this at all because I'm, you know, cutting my hair right before I hop into the shower. And so then I just dust everything off before I hop in and then, you know, wash everything away. But when I'm cutting my boy's hair, I use this. So I've got myself a pair of scissors here. These are some tweezer man scissors that I picked up a long time ago. And what I found actually makes this more comfortable is I put my ring finger through the hole and rest my pinky on there and I found that actually makes it easier intuitively you want to put your middle finger but I find that uh, I get less tired when I put my ring finger in there that's just my deal and this is you know a nice little place for your pinky to rest so another thing I would recommend if you're doing this in your bathroom like I am is take a little piece of paper towel and put it in your sink so it covers up the drain hole and you'll catch a lot of the falling hairs because the last thing you want to do is give yourself a clogged drain. And since my bangs have been most annoying, I'm going to give this a little trim like this. And I do a little bit of an angle and just trim, I don't know, I'm trimming probably like a quarter inch or so. And the thing I like to do with my bangs is I like to thin them out. So I just use my the blade of my scissors and I just drag it and thin it. My hair is very coarse and thick, so if I don't thin it out, it looks very straight and flat. So to give it a little bit more spikiness and separation, this is what I do. That's why I think the overall profile of my hair kind of looks like a helmet because I do a lot of thinning down below. And then when I do give it a little bit of a flip and curl and add some pomade, I have more separation. So do that and then I also do this. And sometimes I do a little bit of this. Now, notice I'm not using any labels or technique words because I don't have any. I just do this and that. And if I keep talking, I'm gonna be eating a lot of hair. Isn't that nice? Hmm. Great. Isn't it amazing how your tongue can feel like one piece of hair? Yeah, for this swoopy thing, I just put my hand fingers together and I just kind of do it with a little trim. Same thing here. So I give it an initial trim and then I'll go in and thin. So then I grab it with my fingers. See how that piece is sticking out? And then I grab this layer up here and do the same thing. Give it a little initial trim. Here too. Up here. And then I go in and I thin it out. I just go in, thin it out. Up here I like it a little bit shorter too. Just to get some layers. And then I just take some pieces and I just run the blade of the scissors down to kind of it out a bit. This is basically a bob, this haircut of mine. And people always ask me, ugh. And a lot of people ask me how I do the back, and the short answer is I just do it by feel. So I just feel it, and then I swing it, and then I cut it. Highly technical. I just feel how it, oh, that part's sticking out. So I just lift it and snip it. And that's it. I just do it by feel. And then I can see here that I should cut this piece here. Yeah, be fearless. It's your hair. It will grow back, right? And if you don't want to cut it yourself, you could have a friend cut it for you. Well, maybe not. Depends on how much you trust your friend. <laughs> so it's just hair. It's just hair and I'm grateful for it, that's for sure. You know that whole bit I was telling you about having long hair and people suggesting that I should grow my hair out? And I think what bothers me the most is, is the assumption that I've never had long hair and that's just simply not the case. <laughs> 
I had a long period of my life when I had long hair. Of course I did. And yeah, I just don't want it now. Maybe I should do a video about that. Let me know if you want to see a video of that. I can go pick up a wig or a weave and do one of those videos. I am obsessed with weave and wig tutorials. I love those videos. I find it utterly fascinating that you can just change your hairstyle just like that. And all the work that is involved in maintaining the hair, putting on the hair, taking off the hair, all of it, all the whole process, I found utterly fascinating. So maybe I should go get one and try to do it on myself. Okay, so I'm gonna cut back here. You should get some nice scissoring sounds. So I just make an angle with my fingers and I just follow it. And if some sticks out, I cut it. And if it sticks out too much, or if I cut too much, oh well. Well, this is the part that I notice the most is the back when I need a haircut. So try to take care of that. Neaten that up a little bit. So I'm going to shake out most of this hair. That's what it looks like in back. You can probably see it better than I can. All right. So I'm going to clean myself up a little bit and then I'll show you how I style it. I could just leave it like this and I can just use a little bit of pomade. This is my favorite pomade that I use and this is Bumble and Bumble Sumo Wax. It is a pretty heavy wax, but my hair is pretty coarse and heavy. So I need something that is strong enough to hold that. I've got my straight iron here. I'm going to give myself a couple little quick flips. Just a little bit of flippy flips. I usually do it on the ends a bit. Well, not too much. And because I've thinned them out, they take a curl pretty easily. Oh, another kind of makeup and stuff news. Thank you guys so much for all your suggestions in my everyday makeup video. A lot of you suggested that I try Glossier, which I've been wanting to try because that's totally up my alley in terms of just kind of very minimal makeup application and wear. So I'm gonna do a Glossier video coming up. I'm gonna try all of their lip colors because I've always had a hard time finding lip colors that are flattering because my lips are so big and just for my you know, skin tone. So I'm going to order those and I'm really curious about that. And I really want to try the brow wax gel stuff they've got. The brow boy, I think they call it, or boy brow or whatever. I got that too because I really want. Oh, and the thing that I was most excited about Glossier is the sunscreen. They have an SPF sunscreen that goes on really lightly and they say it doesn't smell and has a nice light citrus smell, I think is what they said. I always try to wear sunscreen on my face under my light foundation, blah, 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 blah. But I am sensitive to the smells of sunscreen. They all smell like sunscreen. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like the smell of sunscreen. So this one is going to be a clear gel. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be the same as some of the others I've tried, but I'll let you know in that video. So one thing I do do, I actually picked up the habit when I was living in Japan, is wear a hat. I'm always wearing a big floppy hat in the summertime to just give myself a physical barrier from the sun besides wearing sunscreen. In Japan, women cover themselves like head to toe, gloves, hats, masks, everything to avoid the sun, avoid getting their skin dark. I just don't want the skin damage. Okay, so as you can see, I've given myself a little bit more flip flop floppiness. My chickies are squawking in the background. I've had them for a week now. They've grown so much. I'll be doing a video about them on my other channel along with my bee videos. If you're interested in animal husbandry, then you can go to my other channel and see the chicks and the bees. Although I've posted a couple live updates of the chicks because I couldn't stand it because they're so stinking cute. I had to share them. And now I'm gonna use this stuff for the kind of shaping and molding. Very small amount, you can barely even see it. And I just work it into my fingertips, just so my fingers are kind of shiny. And then I just rub it in. 
and just gives you that kind of bed heady look. And I don't really use hairspray or anything either. I just use this stuff. So I give it a couple scooches like that. Pressing flyaways. And that's basically it. That's the hairstyle. Yay! <laughs> so again, this video is less about being a tutorial and more about just taking ownership of your own stinking head. If you want to cut your own hair, if you want to go for that haircut, do it. If you want to grow out your hair, do it. It is yours. Take ownership. I encourage you to do it. It will grow back. It will. <laughs> Don't worry about messing up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know if you wanna see more of these kinds of videos. So share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, subscribe, and I shall see you in my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. All right, toodaloo, take care, bye.